are you? I hope you're doing great. My name is Karina Berenice. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am a big pageant girl. I love dresses. I love galas. I am such a girly girl. In other words, I love to be over the top. I love to be extra. And if I could, I would wear jewels every single day of my life. Today, I'll be showing you this exquisite, beautiful, over the top corset that I created. I deleted my social media two months ago, so I rely on Pinterest for fashion inspo. One day, I came across this beautiful Barocco inspired corset and I could not keep my mind and eyes off of it. I literally got so obsessed that I decided to make it myself. I studied the living hell out of it, trying to figure out how I would create it from scratch. I got so obsessed with it that I decided I was gonna make it myself so I could have it in my closet. So recently, I've been seeing a lot of videos on my YouTube feed talking about buying my dream closet, buying my dream wardrobe, buying, buying, buying. But I've never actually seen making my dream closet. So as of today, I decided to put my little twist as usual and I will be creating a mini series called making my dream closet Pinterest edition and this is gonna be the very first video so if you're interested in watching more videos like this go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of these over-the-top videos I have it here right in front of me I am so proud of myself because it took so much brainstorming to make this I mean Honestly, all of this, I thought of it, I processed it, I was like, how the can I do it? So, I'm so excited to show you how I created this beautiful Barocco inspired corset. And now, let's get started. So for this project, we're obviously gonna need a corset. I got this one from Shein. I love it because it is just the same shape from the one from Pinterest. As you can see, it has this ribbon. I'm gonna be taking it out because it's just gonna get on the way. And what I like the most about this corset is that it has a Velcro in the back. So I'm gonna be able to put it on with no problem as we're gonna be covering this part right here. To make the outline of the corset, we are going to need these silicone filigree shaped molds they have very beautiful shapes and they are very easy to work with i got these at amazon and i got these at shein this one is like a rose mold and this one is so cute because they are little angels again i'm gonna be linking everything down below just so you can have a hold of it just in case you want to recreate this beautiful corset now to create the actual filigree shape you're going to need a glue gun and some glue sticks and it is such a simple process i'm gonna guide you through it every step of the way and these are just some examples of what i already made they are so beautiful and so flexible and that's what we need we also need some gold spray some sort of decoration i got these very pretty earrings from shein this one has a red heart with a little pearl this one has the same filigree shape to it it has a woman's silhouette some rhinestones i have some red and some gold oh my god i found this jeweled fringe at amazon look how beautiful this is this is for I'm gonna be putting my own twist and it's going to be great. I'm obsessed. And we're obviously gonna need some sort of like fabric of your choice. I got this very pretty marble shirt from Shein. I got it in a large size because I wanted to have more fabric to work with. And with this shirt, we're gonna be shaping the actual diamond out of it to put it in a corset. And finally, but not least, we're gonna need... <laughs> <laughs> a sewing machine do i know how to use it no are we gonna learn how to use it yes we will first start by creating the baroque inspired designs by using the mold and hot glue gun this was my very first tray and i made the huge mistake of pouring the glue too far away from the mold as you can see the result was very messy and the design at the end was lost don't be afraid to put the hot glue gun directly onto the mold take your time and try to fill up the gaps as much as possible what i love about this method is that the hot glue dries up really quick and you have your design in seconds Here's an example of the roses really green after some practice compared to the very first. The one in the bottom looks like puke. <laughs> I put the filigree designs in a box so it would be easier and less messier when spraying them with paint. Cause I don't know about you girl, but I don't got time for cleanup. While we wait for the designs to dry, we will continue with the corset. Start by removing the lace. You won't be needing that. Grab your fabric aka the shirt and flip it inside out. Thank you. 
Position the corset on top of the fabric, then outline the middle diamond part. Honestly, I'm not too professional with sewing vocab. <laughs> I am not professional with words at all. So just pay attention to what I'm doing instead. Remember when I said we needed a sewing machine? Jokes on me. <laughs> I spent 80 bucks on something I decided not to use because I'm a lazy bitch and prefers to use trusty E6000 glue instead. You will be doing a small cutting onto the fabric where the four edges of the diamond part meet to glue a hem on the back side. I hope it's making sense. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Then just cut an outline of the diamond to cover the back. This is the final result of the designs after they were kissed by the golden spray gods. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I actually pulled this off. It looks amazing. Right here, I'm just giving myself an idea of how I would like the corset to look like. After that, I'm going to trace the outline of the outer diamond with a marker. At this point, I'm honestly just going with my gut and what I find easiest to do. I trimmed the fabric by connecting the dots I marked. Then I folded the corset in half so I could use the trimmed part as a guide for the other side and have the same symmetry. Then again, I pulled the trusty E6000 glue to stick both sides onto the corset. And now for the fun part! Yeah! Be creative and let your imagination guide you. I glued the filigree designs with E6000, then added some rhinestones, pearls, and the jeweled fringe I got at Amazon. And after so much work, you deserve a hug because you should be very proud of yourself for completing this amazing and beautiful corset. I am so proud of myself. And this is the final result. I know this is going to be a very successful video because I put money, time, and soul. It looks really easy, but it actually took so much brainstorming to successfully execute this beautiful corset. And I could not be happier. I know I repeated this already, but oh my god, I am so obsessed. As you already saw in the more detailed clip, this is how the corset came out. It is so beautiful. So elegant. It will definitely boost up your outfit for any occasion. I don't usually go with red, but I decided to put red accents because rubies are just such a breathtaking gem. They're so elegant, powerful, and I am so obsessed. And this is just one example of how I would style it. I put this cinched mesh black mini dress I got from the thrift store. It is so beautiful and it is so elegant. And pairing it with a corset just elevates the look. It is so sexy and so elegant. I love it. I'm pairing the outfit with these cat eye sunglasses just to give it a more sophisticated look to it. I have this really beautiful rose necklace I got from Forever 21 and these very pretty heart earrings from Shein. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you get inspiration from it. And if you decide to recreate this corset, just go ahead and tag me. I would be so happy to see your guys' take on it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I will be creating more videos like this for my mini series, Making My Dream Closet. Pinterest board edition. I am so excited for the upcoming ideas and if I was able to execute this one, I am so ready to execute more. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you're doing great. Stay blessed, stay grateful, stay healthy. I'm sending you lots of kisses. I'll see you in my next video.